Okay, for this example here, we're going to solve this polynomial equation, and we're going to do it graphically. Now, there's two ways I can do it graphically. One, I could make this y1 and this y2, both sides of the equation. Or another option I have, I can make this x cubed minus 2x squared plus 3x minus 5 is equal to 0. I set one side equal to 0, and that means I'm going to look for my x-intercepts. Okay, so I take this equation and I plug it in for y1. I make this y1, and I want y1 to be 0. I take a look at y1. I've already got it entered here. I hit graph, and I'm looking for this x-intercept here. To do it, I can go second trace, which is my calculate menu, and I'm looking for what's called a 0, which is number 2. My left bound, well, if I estimate that's about 2, so my left bound, I want to be to the left of 2, and 0 is a good left bound, so I'll type in 0. The right bound, I can put over here at 4 or 5. And then finally, ask me for a guess. Well, I think it's about 2, so I'll hit 2. And there is my 0. So this particular one has only one answer, and it's x equals 1.84 to three significant figures.